Enough is enough. They're not there to keep peace. They're there to kill our people. And get out of there. Please, leave us alone. not a good day it's a sad day um it's a sad day to africa and it's a sad day to congolese and the thing is for some of us it seems like um we're feeling it right now or you felt it last year or you felt it two years ago But the sad thing is what is happening in Congo has been going on for over 30 years. For over 30 years. Just take a moment to think about it. Over 30 years in Congo there have been a number of people dying. Fathers, mothers, children, innocent civilians. Every single day for over 30 years. But what is sad is what saddening my heart and I'm going to talk about today brutally honesty. What saddened my heart is that in Congo there are so many international organizations that are there for peacekeeping. Peacekeeping organizations. And today I'm going to talk about the biggest of all the UN peacekeeping task force so the news came out today and i'm going to read this is al jazeera UN troops kill eight civilians in DRC convoy attack governor convoy was firing warning shots these are warning shots which also wounded 28 people in north kiev province UN mission monusco says Mind you this is fi- this is warning shot 28 people were wounded and 8 people killed instantly warning shots United Nations peacekeepers have killed 8 civilians during an attack on their supply convoy in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC a military governor said the troops were firing warning shots which also wounded 28 people in the violence on Tuesday the governor of North Kivu province said the UN convoy was returning from a resupply mission north of Goma the provincial capital when a silence set four trucks on fire the UN mission in the country monusco said on wednesday the attack took place at kanyaruchinya where thousands of displaced people live thousands of displaced people live Monusco had said three people died when the peacekeepers accompanied by the Congolese soldiers tried to protect the convoy. The Monusco soldiers in charge of security fired warning shots which unfortunately caused the death unfortunately were not warning shots. So, so so what I'm thinking in my mind that warning shots what I'll do when I sh- when I fire warning shot I'm not a soldier and I'm not stupid. All right? If I want to fire the warning shot what I will do is maybe I'll fire on the air. I'm not going to fire direct to people and I'm saying that I'm warning you and you're firing direct to people. You have a lot of civilians there and you're firing shot direct to people and you say this is the warning shot. That, that ain't warning shot and they say which unfortunately caused the death of eight look at that language unfortunately and those are the lives of our brothers and sisters africans among the displaced eight of our com our patriots among the displaced and 28 wounded lieutenant general Con- uh, constant dima 
the governor spokesman said on Wednesday. He said an investigation will be carried out. So the sad thing is the UN peacekeeping, peacekeepers, they have been in Congo since 1999. Like when I was six years old, the UN were there. Since then until right now, I have no even idea the number of lives that have been wasted, the number of people that have been died. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. And you know what the language all the time is? Unfortunately, by mistake, eight people were killed, 12 people were killed, these number of people were killed, even if it's just one person was killed, unfortunately. And this is what they always say when they release this news that investigation will be carried out. When are we going to get the right of our people? How do you think this investigation is going to get out? How do you think the end of this, go uh, this, this investigation will be? That, oh, UN, keep pissing force, oh, they're guilty, get out of Congo. Ain't gonna happen. Nobody's going to go to prison. The matter of fact, our people will continue to die again and again. Let me ask you, UN peacekeepers, since 1999 until today, you have been in Congo. And there's no single day in Congo that there's a peace. No single day. Since then until right now, what kind of peace are you guys keeping in there? You guys are not peacekeepers. You guys are criminals. Eight people, eight innocent lives are wasted. Because you're firing a warning shot direct at them. I'm warning you. Don't stop our convoy. I'm warning you. And you're shooting direct at them. And that is warning shots. 28 wounded people, 8 people died. And that just happened on Tuesday. How many lives are you guys going to kill for just keeping the peace? How many lives are you going to take away for just keeping the peace? That's the problem that we Africans we have with you. Are you there to keep peace or are you there to kill our people? And there's no justice will be done to you because you're there to keep peace. So whatever you're going to do is justified because you are doing it for keeping peace. But you know, the people in that land, they know what you guys are doing. The people in that land, they don't want you to be there because there's no peacekeeping in that place. You're not keeping the peace. You're taking away the peace. You're not keeping the peace. You're not keeping the peace. You're not the part of the solution. You're the part of the problem. And please, you and can't you not see this? Are these lives of our people, eight lives of people, do not matter to you? Yes, it doesn't matter because you've been there since 1999. And you know, the only thing we hear all the time is people are dying. And nothing good is happening in that country. Nothing good. Day and night. Nothing good is happening. Where is the peace you guys have been keeping there? Every single day we see people fighting. Every single day we see people dying. You guys, for real, like for real, you are telling us you're not able to keep peace there. You're not able to stop what is happening. Or you are the cause of what is happening in Congo. And this is my request. And this is my demand. Get out of Congo. I do not care what the leaders of Congo say. I do not care how long you have been there. We do not care. But we cannot stay here another day witnessing another lives taken away by you and our people. You guys, you are in our land. You guys, you are in Africa. And you are killing people in Africa. Our people in their own land. Where do you want them to go? You want all of them to leave Congo so that you may stay there and keep peace? Keep peace for who? Who are you keeping peace for? Who are you keeping peace for? This has to stop. It has to stop. People lives matter. Our people lives matter. You can't keep taking lives. You're not giving lives. You guys are not keep you guys are not peacekeepers. You guys are killing our people. And that's the fact. These news are all over there, the media. Look at what has been happening. Go, guys, and check it out. Since 1999 until right now, every single day there's incidents of people dying. And this is just the number of things that we see, but it's that number of people that we do not know. We do not know, man. What kind of peace are you guys keeping there? You and what are you doing? Is that your job to keep peace in Congo while taking lives of people away? Is that really the price of keeping the peace in the country? If that's the price, I don't want you guys to be there. 
We don't want you guys to be in Africa. Leave our problem alone. Leave us, leave us to struggle with our issues alone. Because at the end of the day, people who are affected are not leaders, are not you. You are the one holding guns. We are the one affected. We are the one being killed. Imagine if one soldier of UN is killed. What's going to happen to the rest of the people? And you know what? If one soldier is killed, what, what will happen is that um, <laughs> I think the, the entire streets of Congo will be flooded by the soldiers just killing people anyhow. But when our eight people killed, unfortunate incident. We're trying to shot the warning shot and we kill eight people. Guys, think about this. Think about this logic. You're firing the warning shot and you kill eight people. How many shots did you feel? Did you shoot? How many shots? Not only that, but also you wounded 28 people. So in total, 28 plus eight, how many number of people you get there, guys? 30. Warning shot. The lives of people, 28 wounded, 8 died, 36. So the warning shot that you guys were shooting, it was more than 36. Presum that, that's just assumption. More than 36 warning shot. Because 28 people are wounded by the fire you were shooting, and 8 people died by the fire you were shooting. And that was only warning shot. Does it make sense to you guys? Does this make sense to your brain? That you're firing warning shot and 28 people in 36 lives. 28 in injured, 8 died. And it was only warning shot. Seriously. Seriously. Where are the rights of our people? Where are the rights of Congolese? Where are the rights of civilians? This is the place God has given them. This is the land. They have been there for years. They don't enjoy their land because of you. Because of you, eight people died. Because of you, 28 people are injured. And maybe more people will die. Because of you. Thousands and thousands of lives died because of you. Because you're trying to keep peace. And we do not see a single day of peace in Congo. What are you guys doing in Congo? Who is questioning you? Who is keeping you accountable? Where is the UN? Where is your accountability? Where is your reputation? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I know, I know. Your reputation has been worse anywhere you go. The lives of people matters. Africa. We can't let this happen. It's a time for you to go home. So many people die. So many lives are wasted. And there's no peace happening in Congo. There's no peace happening in our countries. And you're still there keeping the peace. What kind of peace are you keeping if you're taking lives away? Get out of Congo. Get out of Africa. Right away. Right away. This is one Africa. And we are standing together as one people. Get out of Congo. The time is now. You are not allowed. I don't care what the government tells you, but we as a people, you are not allowed to be there. Guys, these lives matter, Africans. These are our people. These people have families. These people have vision, have dreams, have people they love them. How people, they are crying right now. These people, they will never be the same because they lost their families. Does this not matter to you? Africa, does this not matter to you? African Union, does this not matter to you? What is the process? What is the step are you going to take to deal with this issue? Because they're UN, they're untouchable. We can touch them. I do not care who you are. I do not care who you're holding the gun. I do not care who can touch you. And I'm telling you once again, get out of Congo. It's a time for you to step out. Enough is enough. They're not there to keep peace. They're there to kill our people. 
and get out of there. Please, leave us alone. Lead us. Let investigation be done while they're back to their countries, not inside of Africa. It's a time to demand one Africa as soon as possible. Otherwise, more lives are going to be taken away. If Africa we do not come together and demand justice and demand one Africa a sub, we're going to lose more people. Congo is the richest country on earth. It can benefit Africa, but now it's not benefiting Africa. There is no coincidence why you guys have been there since 1999. Why are you there? Because you're obviously not there to keep peace. Your job, it was very simple to keep the peace. You have all the tools. You have everything to keep the peace. You haven't been keeping for those years, for over 30 years. You haven't kept the peace. So why are you there? Tell us, why are you there? Why don't you be honest with us and tell us why you're there? Well, people in that area, they know why you're there. They know why you're there. You know, you know, how does one Africa look like? I wish the whole entire continent of Africa go to Congo to kick these guys out. It's not going to take a second to kick you out. It's not going to take a second. And you know what? We're not coming to you with guns. We're not coming to you in guns because we are, we are not violent people. You are violent. You are violent, killing, affecting 36 lives because you're warning. You couldn't just shoot on the air by warning people. You couldn't just shoot at the trees that you're warning people, but you have to shoot directly at people. I was warning them. Guys, and this will be justified. No justice will come for these eight lives of people. But you know what? We demand justice. And you guys, man, it's the time for you guys to be accountable. Get out of Africa. Guys, enough is enough. Africa is much. Africa will be in a better place. In a safer place. Without you in it. Africa will be so much peaceful. Without you being in Africa. Get out of here. Simple. That's my simple message. UN peacekeepers. Get out of Africa. Asa. And this. Is not me talking. This. Is one Africa talking. All of us. We feel the same way. I'm here. Representing one more than 1.3 billion Africans. We feel the same. We want the same thing. And it's only one thing. Get out of Africa. Our people deserve to live. Our people deserve their lives. You can't take them away. You can't take them. You're not in charge of our lives. These lives now belong to you. It belongs to the Most High God. It belongs to the Most High God. And leave our lives away. It's time. It is time. And it's up. Leave our people alone. Leave our people alone. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Do you understand that? We don't want you here. We can handle ourselves. We don't want you here. We don't. Hear me and hear me loudly. We don't want you here. Leave us. You have been killing people for so long that it's okay for you to take lives. It's okay. It doesn't even bother you. Killing eight lives and next day you just still see them running around. How do you want us to feel? How do you want us to respond after killing our people? Peacefully? Sitting down and be like, all right, that was accident. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Really? 
Who is violent here? Who is violent here? You are violent. And you're not keeping peace. You fail your job. You fail your job. So you're fired. You fail your job. You had only one job to keep peace and you ain't doing it. And please leaders of Congo. Please. These lives matter, man. It matters. You guys by a single word. These guys can leave that country by a single word. We have been kicking friends out of the western part of Africa. Now it's time for you guys. You are the real enemies here. You are the devils here. You can't take people's lives. Please. Why are you hesitating? Africa Union, why are you hesitating? How many lives are we going to lose? How many, how many lives are we going to lose? Yes. I'm putting my life on line here by kicking you guys out cuz I know how you respond. But yet the lives of eight people matters. The lives of eight people matters. You can't keep doing what you're doing. Why can't we kick them out? Why? Oh, then matters right now it's on us people. Let me tell you again. I represent more than 1.3 billion people behind me. They're standing with this message. Get that. God is going to deal with you and we're going to deal with you. Get out of the continent. Simple as that. Africans were very patient. We're very loving, we're very kind. Don't wait until our patient run out. Don't wait for that. Don't wait for that. Because we have nothing to lose. We have lost too much already. And we have nothing to lose. So get that and leave us as soon as possible. Don't wait for our patients to run out. These lives of thousands and thousands of people that have been killed in Congo and other parts of Africa it should be enough. This blood is crying before God. This blood is heavy on us. It's heavy on us. Please get that and get out of Africa as soon as possible.